Previously on the Good Good Road Trip Tournament. There's no way we're gonna do that. Every man for themselves, handicap. Stop. Please stop. Get off me! This is currently how it stands after round one again. There's so 54 more holes of golf left. Steve is still in the lead at 28 under par. Matt and AJ are now tied for second at 14 under par. Garrett at nine under par. Quan, still can't believe how amazing of a round that is, came in at six under par. And Brad ended up getting it to blow under par, coming in at one under. This is gonna be interesting, this is gonna be interesting. I've never held on to a poor finish to a round of golf for this long, so I'm concerned for my mental well-being. That's what's going on. What I am saying is I haven't really thought about the Super Bowl until now, but the plan is we're going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings right now, which is 12 minutes away. We're gonna get out and watch the Super Bowl. Do you think the Wild Wings? We're gonna be able to have a spot to... I can't take this group anymore. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey fumbled, kinda out of nowhere. They were driving. First drive of the game. Colin's acting all calm, cool, collected, you know, just eating his bread at Texas Roadhouse. We see the ball on the ground. All of us are going like, oh, ball, ball, ball. <laughs> but Colin decides to go, <laughs> like loud as hell. It was such a pronounced F-bomb. And there's a four-year-old sitting a foot from him behind him. The K at the end of the word rang through the valley of El Paso. Great meal. Obviously, we watched some of the Super Bowl in there. Now we are back on the road. Bye, thank you. Me, Colin, Steven, and Garrett. We are driving to the next hotel. We're gonna be playing in Odessa. I really wanna play the rickety dinkety. I don't mind playing Little Goat Ranch. I really don't. I think it would be a lot of fun. Exciting times. We just watched the Chiefs fumble a little bag there, and now we're punting on fourth Please. down. Come on, Pacheco. I need 67 and a half rushing yards out of you, Pacheco. Come on. I like this. I'm sorry, Max. I think it's gonna be 27, 24, 49. What, what just happened, brother? Uh, Chiefs just won the Super Bowl in OT, 25 to 22. Mahomes be that dude. Absolutely electric game. We watched it all here on Colin's laptop. I think that was literally the greatest Super Bowl that I've ever watched. And it was such a long game because we we teed a, we teed off about four hours ago, <laughs> and we had already started watching the game. We already watched like basically yeah, the did. first quarter. I literally can't believe how electric that game was. You couldn't have, you could not have written that up any better. The scripters did well this year. The scripters year. literally put it out perfectly for us. I think the defense. The Kansas City defense was absolutely clutch. And then for Mahomes, you give him enough time on the clock, special teams, special plays that he made, some absolute special plays that game. It was an electric game. Colin was losing his freaking mind in the yeah. front seat. No! Oh my gosh! Let's go! Oh my god. If Brock Purdy would have threw for 2.7 more yards, I would have won a lot of money tonight. So, you know. All in all, I'm just happy the Chiefs won, even though I lost a lot. Yeah. I actually do, I understand where a lot of the hate comes from. Trust me, I have it there too. But the dub, the dub's a dub. You know, I, I understand agree. where the hate comes from though. Yeah, Trust I me. Too. Nah, I, I get the I get the hate, but I'm, I'm Kansas City native. I'm always gonna root for the Chiefs. That's just the way it blows. I get the hate, but I went to Chiefs game in like negative 50 degrees when we would lose 46 to three. We've made it to the Marriott and- I have no shoes. Steven has no shoes. I've got popcorn in my bag. I'm missing some stuff, but we are winners, guys. That's the reality of it tonight. Not us physically, but our team won, and that makes uh, us we winners. Won. Uh, we finally made it. Pit stop number two. Tomorrow we are playing either a public course here in Odessa or something else. We're not really sure. All I do know is we're going to play golf here tomorrow, and then we're driving three hours to Fort Worth. Fort Worth golf is like really fun to me. Round number three for this four-round major tournament, if you will. Ooh. And in the uh, final round, we'll be in Frisco. Dang, why are you so close to my face? Get that away. All right, Luis. Here's the deal. You're going to take your clothes off right now. Signed, sealed, delivered. Oh, Lord. Hey, look at that. GoodGoodGolf.com right there. All right, we'll be seeing you tomorrow morning. I'll be up at 10. What the? Somehow my bag got lighter, but I haven't taken anything out. That's not good. <laughs> Don't really know how that's possible, Colin. 
I just know I flew it here with, it was like 62 pounds and now it's like 50. That's all right, that's hmm. <laughs> lots of energy today, boys. I'm shooting 400 far, that's the truth. You tell them what you're doing. Don't have fun with that, I'm just gonna go a little lower than last time. Okay, does anybody want one of these, Steve? Sausage? Because I, I do mine with a, a different flavor. You need to make riddle. No, I do the just biscuit. Not biscuit, I do. Let them cook. How many hash browns do we want? Get us four. Ten. Go, go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, come on, Colin, change your plans. We're leaving. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. Woo, back out in 37 degrees. I got that. Decaf in my booty crack. I got that two cream and a sugar in that. I got that decaf in my booty crack. I got that two cream and a sugar in that. I got it. No more friendship gets better after this video. Back. Cafe. This is inter only, so after this white van, you we gotta give it hell. Oh, <laughs> I haven't heard that one in a while. No, no. That was an all time sequence right there. <laughs> give it hell. Is this thing? Ooh, baby, I love your way. Every day. I got that decaf in my booty crack. Wait, wait, is that the flow? Yeah. I got that decaf in my booty crack. Did you make that up later on the spot? Yes. That's pretty impressive. The flow is. I got that decaf in my booty crack. I got that two cream and a sugar in that. I got that mid cafe and I'm not looking back. I got that. Oh, damn! Good McDonald's, come Hi. on, let's see it. That's actually clean. If you want to finish the lyrics, leave them in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, someone bro, should what make are they the doing? whole. Some artist out there that actually has talent should make that a full song. That would be insane. And we'll put it in the intro, yeah, or outro, or intro. Yeah. DM it to Good Good Instagram if you make that song. Yeah, and me and Colin personally, so just in case. Actually, that's what we should. We should have everyone DM Good Good the, their best lyrics to that flow, and then we'll create it. Yeah, and then all music video, everything. <laughs> Gotta get Steve in there. Yeah, Steve's just riding a horse through McDonald's drive through. <laughs> oh, wait! Just butt naked. That is actually clean. I actually could make that happen. I got that decaf in my bed. This, I, this is an opportunity to go super low, though. Yeah, there's like nothing out here. There is no trouble. Ratliff Ranch, baby. Ratliff Ranch. All right, boys, let's get into it. It's cold out here, folks. It's cold, but hey, it's worth it. Your kiss. These are pajama pants I'm putting on, boys. I'm gonna take a couple shots like yesterday, and then I'm gonna cook, boys. <laughs> on last episode. On this episode? Previously. Or pre well, previously on. Like previously on the Western Shootout. Steven got off to a hot start, but then slowly melt. Slowly started me and Steven slowly started melting. Cats the clubs off. You're at a four pot. <laughs> that would actually be so funny. How y'all doing? And welcome back to round two of the Good Good West Texas Shootout. It's very cold out here, and the boys want to get right into it. Good golf was played yesterday. I think this course looks. It's cold. It's a little bit windy out here. But it looks very scorable. All right, first hole. Right, Steve's gonna go really low today. <clears throat> I'm all. I'm already really low right now. First drive. I'm just gonna aim up the left three sticks out there and. Uh, This is why you don't have any cheese. Grab your tea, man. Uh, I don't care. What do you think, Colin and Max? Shut the ball, G. Hey. Mm. I feel like I'm playing in tennis shoes today, boys. <laughs> Dang. Dang. It's a little bit longer than I thought it'd be. What's the, uh, this is part number. 68, and that's what I'm gonna shoot today. That's all you're going for? I, I think that's all I got in me today, brother. Come on. I think that's my number today. 68. Damn, all right. Mine got a little to the right there, but it's all good. Oh, wow, why is it so much colder today? It feels colder than yesterday, does it not? I think it feels way better than yesterday, to be honest. Your kiss, your kiss. I is on my There's some little positives here on this little ex adventure. I'm gonna be honest, this is fun, but there's a little bit more grass today, so big old positive. I got about 100 yards of the pin. I'm gonna hit a 50, 56 degree, and it's gonna cut the wind. Hold him down, hold him down. 
Yeah, I bet you like that one, Colin. 61 yards. I just told Brad my number today is 68. That's what I'm gonna shoot. No better. That's all I got in me. 68, take it or leave it. I saw Steve's go to the right. Okay, mine didn't really go to the right, but that's all right. All right, I got 60 yards over here to the right. Uh, very easy shot back into the wind. Expecting to get it close. Come on. Damn, I played for a little too much spin. That's all right, I can make that. All right, y'all, making our way up to the green of hole one. I am here with y'all doing a voiceover because we had some mic problems happening. Don't worry, we get all the issues resolved going into hole two. Brad makes his birdie. Garrett just misses his birdie. Steve for his birdie attempt, just not quite enough. And Garrett taps in for par. Now making our way back to the tee box of hole one with group two. We have Sharf with a nice drive up the right side. AJ with a beautiful drive right down the middle. Quan pulls it just a little bit left, but is in fine position. Let's get up to the fairway to see their approach shots. Sharf leaves it just short to the right. Going to leave himself a pretty easy chip there. Quan from the left just behind this tree hits a beautiful shot to seven feet, leaving himself a sliding putt for birdie. AJ also with a great shot there, leaving himself an uphill left to righter for birdie. Now making our way up to the green with group two. Sharf with a nice chip shot, leaving himself about three feet for par. Quan for his birdie attempt, slides, misses low on the left side. Like I said, that slippery putt kind of got away from him. AJ with a nice putt up the hill, makes his birdie. Quan just misses his par putt, taps in for bogey. And Sharf with a very nice par save there. Let's get on to the tee box of hole two with group one. Again, we will have all these mic issues resolved on hole two, and the video will be just like normal. Thank you guys for bearing with us through this. Let's get on with the rest of the video. All right, number two, par five, 490 yards. Um, it's like a slight dog like right. There's a bunker out there. I think we're gonna easily carry. Yes, yeah, right on, right over that bunker. Thanks. I'm swinging so hard at this one. The ibuprofen finally kicked in. I might get a little loopy here soon, but that's all right. Oh, uh, that right. way. That's actually fine. Right is the miss, I think. Part five. I hammered that. That's gonna run for Woo! a mile if it didn't hit one of those groots up there. Bunker. Sure that's right of it. Where's this hole go? Right in it, Colin? Didn't see. I'll take, fun. I'll take that over. Better than the left. Kind of hit it good, too. 167 in between clubs. I'm going to hit a nine. I just don't think this ball's flying very far. That? Luis just looked up. When Luis, <laughs> Luis, Luis. The way Luis looked up, he goes, <laughs> that had to have almost gone in, boys. 223, all right, I'm gonna need your couple options from you. I got 223 from right here. I can hit a three wood with a fade and try to keep control of it, or I can hit a three iron and just know that it's gonna be up towards green. Or should I go for it with a three wood and let it cut up in there? Or I could still go for it with the three iron. I think the three iron because it's a little downwind. Yeah. You like hitting the three iron? Yeah, I do. All right. Oh my. Oh wow. Not perfect. I'll still take it. That was struck. I did hit it good. All right, I'm glad I went with the three iron because the three wood would have been gone. Oh, oh I just twist my ankle. Dude, what the? F well, I'm over here right, but it's fine. No tree trouble. 144 pin. The wind is kind of into off the left a little bit, so I got nine iron. I think Gary just stuffed it, so I'm gonna see if I can get inside of that. Give myself a look at Eagle. Sit down. Sit down a little bit. Oh, a lot of it. What the? I mean, what? It's cold and into the wind. How does that ball go that far? If I just get it over that hill with a little flop shot, it should stop short of the pin, which is all. Awesome. Where, where's your, where's your pin, where's the pin at? Brother, Mine's right here. You don't want to carry it all the way there, though. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right, well, I genuinely don't know how that 9-iron went that far. I thought after I hit it, it was going to be a little long, but not up here on the hill. Not easy shot. I luckily got a pretty good lie. Oh, that came out hot. That's too 
Worked out, I got like eight feet from a birdie. My biggest thing today is I need to see a line on the ball that I feel like every time it's gonna go in before I hit the pot. Give it a nice roll. That's, eh, that good? That's good? No. Good pot. So what's this for? This is for birdie. <laughs> I had to hold that in, brother. That was fun. That's good. All right, another par. Another par. You got like nine feet from our birdie. Breaking a little left. Nice putt. <laughs> All right guys, hole number two, par five, 490. Only trouble I really see in front of us is, is OB left and some brush on the left, but other than that, we have the world right, right to miss. So, open. Gonna try to carry that bunker and start off down the fairway. Oh, go that way. All right, world's right. That's the miss. Uh, okay, sling dog. What is up? two ten. One ninety seven is my guess. Shut up! You just bumped it up. One ninety seven. Dang. Two seventeen. Michael said it was one ninety seven. That's strike number one for you being a caddy. Reach for the stars. 170. 170 is the number that I'm trying to hit here. I have eight iron. Wind off the left. Oh. Look at this break for Sharf. It's great. Man, I thought I hit on the left side of the cart path too, which is crazy, but I still have some sort of a shot. I got a little four iron. I only have 148 yards to the pin. I'm just hit like a little punch shot. Just, I don't even need to get it on the green necessarily because I'm still trying to make birdie here. So just avoid this tree and you know, maybe it gets lucky and rolls all the way up there and I have an eagle putt. I mean, I can't even be really that upset with that. That was a great punch shot. A little bit too much, uh, we'll find it and hopefully chip it on the green. Oh my god, I felt it, I felt it. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, I got the yips for about three shots in a row. That's gonna be a nice bogey. Not exactly what you want to see after starting with the birdie. Just a few little mistakes that uh, are going to have to go away if I want to have a good round today. All right, here we go. Hole number three. I'd say it's about two, I mean, 390 straight into the wind. Crosswind. Take that right back. But uh, let's see what we can do. All, everybody's made a par except for Garrett. But let me do that one more time. All right, here we go. Hole number three. Go ahead and rip it, Garrett. I don't know the exact yards. I'm guessing like 380. Leave both those takes in, please. <laughs> yes. Perfect, yeah. High draw. I'm gonna hammer. I'm gonna try to hammer it with the wind. Oh my god. Oh, get on the green. Pulling one on a par four, 390 yards. Into the wind. Oh, it looked like it landed hard. That's Vaughn. gonna. Wait, whoa, whoa. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I can't see anything. I'm just gonna record for 20 seconds. Last one, big fella. All right, I'm gonna start this over that left tree. 
goodness gracious, hey, these are Dude, that fade is something. Well, I, said it, I said I'm never playing a draw again. I'm loving Fade Steve. Dude, Fade Steve is kind of different. I can control the ball so much more. I don't know why distance, because everybody hit it further than me. Now I'm just covered up with about 17 clubs and calling it good. I played this course called Waters Creek in uh, Allen, Texas. I was doing a video on my new golf trips, and I got up on this par four, and I just didn't think it was reachable. 350, for some reason, it was the only day that I had filmed where I was using, I was using a Sony A7S III instead of a zoom camera. Yeah. And I hit it like right, and I just didn't think anything of it. We drove up, it was two feet right in the heart. Like right damn. in the heart, just short. Damn. I was like, damn, that would suck. Do you see a ball? I don't see, I do see a ball, just short there. Oh. That's great though. Oh. That's killed. Oh my god. God, I didn't Brother. see that ball at first. <laughs> I had, my heart started going a little bit. Uh, 86 yards of the pin. I got a 50. Yeah, I'll take that. Put me on tour. Other than the live event in front of 100,000 live people, I'm pretty good sometimes. Usually I, I show out for live events. I just wasn't there that night. Your kiss, your kiss is on 46 yards. <laughs> I've had 60 degree in hand. Brad just absolutely, look at this man. Hey, to could drive up here just a little short of the green. Got like the simplest chip shot in the world. Let's see if I can give it a run. That, that's what you call a bad chip. Third birdie look in the first three holes, so. Dude, I can't even get a birdie putt there. All right, Colin. Mine's moving like six inches and three feet. Honestly, I will be happy if this goes in. I can't even lie, Put a mark push, on it. I pushed the sh All right. The, what I need to do, Colin, today is on like municipal style greens like this, I don't need to line the putts up. Crazy, I know, but trust me, you just gotta. Damn, right. we didn't make any birdies. Holy crap, Brad. Let's, all right, everyone, club, everyone throw their putters. Missed opportunities for days, one under through three, course record in play, let them go. Keep even keel here. All right, now the driver in hand. I think right's pretty much open. I don't think those trees are back there are reachable. This is part three. <laughs> no, 370. Oh, what, really? Yeah. Started right of the pin, ended up left of the pin, so. That's where I went. Should be all right. Dude, what I about the camera? Where's the Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Flush the memory toilet. Start over. Well, we got to figure something out, boys. We got to figure it out right now. All right, Max, we did find it over here on this left side. I'm probably gonna be like 100 and 120, 130 out. Pitching wedge in hand. Try to hit the green. I can't tell. Hopefully that's on or just off the back and we'll have a putt at it. I got 74 yards. That's probably the last time I'm gonna hit drivers or Bubby's driver. I think something, something's up with that guy. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the 55 degree, just like go under, go over. And honestly, just hope. Yay! Very good bounce. Got out of jail. Too much club off the tee, Max. That's kind of insane. Great little look here, 43 yards. It's be a great one to make here. Great birdie. All right. Wanted to make sure I got it on the green. Gave myself a pretty look. Come on, let's make one. That's a phenomenal putt, AJ. I'm on the green, but there's quite literally zero percent chance. Okay, I guess, I guess there's one percent chance. But this thing is snapping. Stay on the green. Oh my 
gosh, bro. So what does it go? One to four? I mean, you technically go like 10, 12, 13, like it's not really endless. But generally won't see that stuff in the course. Straight down wind, I have a P wedge, it's playing short. If this nice and full should get there. Go, go. Throw to the bunker. Sight, that might actually go in the hole. Ooh. Uh, I also have that P wedge. hurt my wrist. <laughs> it's so down on that because I was trying to hit it so hard. Wait, my ball ended right of the hole, just a fun fact. That might go in. This looks so good. Short left. Oh, well, That's a nice fade, huh? You like that one? Damn, this is this is a this is one where you look at it and you're like a bogey would be real nice right now. I'm just gonna hit it over that. As long as I'm on the right side of this hill, we're fine. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Steve, I said you were gonna make that putt. <laughs> Yo, that is the worst putt in good good history. Mark it down. Mark it down, that is the worst putt. I hit it square though. Dude, I just nailed that. I'm just beating my right ankle up. I already twisted my ankle and now that. Alright, here we go. Imagine, imagine he makes it. Okay. Big putt for both. Like 15 yards off the green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> my ball landed up close to, the, close to the hole, but it spun back, like 20 feet. I need to make this to make up for one of the last couple holes. That ain't happening. Good luck with that putt. All right, I get a line from Garrett. Bogey, that's the only goal right now. Bogey is par for me. Yeah. Like, what did that do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mine was yeah. okay. Wiggled right off the face and wiggled left to the end. I would say yours looks like inside right, maybe. Yeah, you just with yeah. Ah, double. That hurts. We were doing good for a second. I gotta go piss though. Oh, five. Five. What a two five. I'm yeah. playing like ass, but we're having fun. You know what I think, Colin? With stroke play, I think a big reason why this is such better content, for a, a lot of reasons, but big reason, I think there's so much clippable content that can come out of stroke play. Everyone's in a different spot, you know? Beautiful. All right, here we go. Starting soft in the tee box again. Stay an even keel right now. Par, par, par. Obviously, it looks like it pretty, slopes pretty hard left to right, so I feel like if I miss it left, it's gonna come back down to the right here for me. Come on, funnel it, funnel it. Oh, no, funnel for me. All right, 163, but we want to play this almost 150 with how strong this wind is, so I've got nine iron. Four max. Four max. Uh, it's also screwed. Kind of like a nine through here. How'd you know? You're my caddy, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, right, you're fired. Where's the movement? Where's nice the sit? One. Roll back. One. Yay! I wasn't gonna tell y'all walking up to the tee because that group didn't get to know, but love you guys. But where AJ and Sharf are at is uh, <laughs> gonna be fun. Too low. <laughs> <laughs> hey now. Yeah. This is not going to be fun, but it's either you leave it short on the hill or you hit it too hard and it rolls all the way down where Matt and, and Luke are. So, got to split the difference here. Better than leaving it short. I mean, we're grinding for pars today. Yeah. 
Ahí. I made a port yet. Yeah, I think it You don't like cars today, do you? No cars today. Just doubles and triples and quads and quintuples and sextuplets and September. <laughs> Off the left, we can all get it there. Yeah, I think we actually, the first time I'm like, I might be able to get it there if I hit it good. Is that my rangefinder? Come on, Colin! Hey, you got it there. Oh no, oh no. Every time I try and hit a cut, it just straight hooked. You just gotta open up the face for it. Thanks, brother. I'm teaching them. All right, I'm trying to hit a pretty big cut here because I got to take some distance off, I feel like. Get to the right side of the hill. Yeah, you're safe. Oh. That's fine. My hat coming off is sick, man. Hit that tree. Kick left, right. All right. Well, we didn't take advantage of that. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that right now. Got it. Got some tough shots. Didn't leave myself in an ideal position, but I have something. Sixty degree in hand. Kind of have to open this one up a little bit. No. The bounce, Colin. The bounce left. Sixty-two yards. Got to land soft. Hey, well, how would we just keep playing this fade in there? That drive did not cut enough. Went long left over here. Luckily, I didn't go into these bushes. Kind of stayed right here on the edge. Um, got like 40 yards. Can't really see the pin, but let's get something down. I need to start making some birdies. Ow. Oh my. Oh God. This man's hand. Watch this, watch this. Oh man, brother. Yeah, that was a gimme for Brad. Come on, baby. Is that good? Yeah. Two under. Two under. Should be like five, but hit gas, right? Not feeling the flow. All right, let's see if I can feel something. That went away. <laughs> Three birdie of looks. Within probably like 15 feet, I haven't made one. All right, well, I'm uh, that puts me at 200 through five. Garrett, 200, Steve, not sure. All right, moving on to hole number five, par four, 337. Luke is up after making a sweet birdie. Matt and I, unfortunately, with bogeys, we gotta just minimize the mistakes. You just have to keep the ball in play. Why does this look drivable too? It's 337. Oh, okay. This one actually is drivable, maybe. Like Phil Mickelson right now. Catch a piece of that bunker. Oh, it yes. Right back in it. I said yes just because it didn't go super far right, but hopefully that's not too bad. Try and stay left to AJ's there and just keep it on the left side and give me a chip in. That's big. I'm trying to eliminate that bogey right here. Come on. Unfortunate part three hole for me and AJ there, but beautiful short little part four. I can get after it here. I hit a 
really great shot standing on the left side. AJ's fine in the bunker, I think. I haven't been in the bunker, so I don't know how bad those are, but we're in some great spots. Great, great chances to make some birdies. Okay, Michael, I did not think my ball would be this far. I'm like past the green somehow. I must have landed on the car path or something. That is a terrible spot. Honestly, I'd be very happy with a par. Dude. All right, same kind of play. I'm gonna try to let this one kind of hit that front hill and potentially roll onto the green. Oh, okay. That's a good shot. That's still a good shot. I just did not want that to come up short. All right, this is a phenomenal drive, but there's just a little bit of a tear right there I'm worried about. So try and aim at it and get it to sit a little bit for me. Stop. Okay, Michael, this is a bonus. I honestly thought I was like back at the green. I, I didn't know why you were filming me. <laughs> I had no idea where it was. Trying to make this though, convert. How many lifts have I had today? Nice, Thank you. Yes, thank you. Come on, baby. Get rid of that bogey on the last one. Let's keep moving forward. All right, y'all, walking off fifth green there. That's a huge birdie by Sharf. That now moves him back to solo, second place at 14 under par. Brad also with a nice birdie there to move to three under par. Brad is now within three shots of Quant, gaining ground on him. Good, good golf coming y'all's way. Stay tuned, par five coming up. Big things can happen. Okay, number six, 400 yards roughly downwind. I'm gonna go after it just because it's running out so much on the fairways because they're so dry. I feel like downwind, maybe I can get it up close to the green. So I'm gonna swing hard and hopefully it gets up there. Good God. Oh my God. I mean, if that runs, I'm hammering my driver If that right runs now. like it stole something, it'll get there. I think Brad and I's, or at least definitely Brad's, but I think mine will roll up pretty close to green too. Nice. I, I'm gonna say this now, I'm gonna say mine's on the green. You think so? I, I, I hit that as far as I possibly can hit a ball with no spin, downwind. <laughs> You kind of just ride just, the wind too. Yeah, these fairways are just like, they're just dormant and nothing, like no friction, so they're just running forever. They're like concrete basically. Yeah. I could see it. I If I'm not on the green, I think it's gonna be kind of how it was on like number three or whatever, where it's like barely short. Oh my gosh, so. <laughs> I mean, it's not on, but it's. That is bomb, still, brother. I'm hitting my driver. I mean, granted, like we said, the fairways are running out a ton, but. I am swinging my driver very fast right now. You're optimizing it very yeah. well in these conditions. That's good. Yeah. Well, I'm up here like 15 yards short of the green. The pin is like really close to the front edge. And honestly, I would think about putting this, but there's two big sprinklers right in my line next to the green. So I'm just gonna have to try to get a little nippy with this. I mean, it's just, it's hit it way too hard. If the sprinklers hadn't been there, I, I think putting would have been the play, but I mean, it's just gonna hit one of those and do nothing, so. Now you give me a free read and I don't mind it. Yeah, you're welcome. Be somebody! Oh. Head out of, let's go. Also, I'm wearing the same clothes from yesterday, but the underclothes are different. The top ones are the same. It's kind of chilly out here, boys. I don't got no, I don't got too many clothes, big fella. What? 
I'm my putting actually might be might be competing for the worst putter in the world right now. We'll find it and play it. All right, good ball by Quan there. Let's see if we can follow it up. Wind's kind of this way, so and a little bit more right. A little left kick for me. If it kicks straight, we'll be fine. I was just worried about that stuff on the right kind of coming into play. All in all, I think we'll be fine. This is great. We got about one, 118. Got a decent look at it, Michael. Just try and get one up there on the green, get myself another birdie look from the stuff. Unfortunately, just clipped that tree just a little bit, but we're in play. We got a chance to make par. We got 54 yards. Pretty good look at the green. I'm just hoping to put something close, hit a good shot, and then kind of snowball from there into even more shots. About 10, 15 feet. It's exactly what I wanted. Well, Michael, this is a great hole to be 52 yards away from. I've got tons of green before the flag and the green in front of the fringe. I gotta stop being sarcastic. Um, flag's in the front. I'm screwed. Literally as good as I can do from there. <sighs> All right, very similar to what Luke said there. I uh, <laughs> kind of in a tough spot here with the pin being very, very close to the front. I'm gonna try and land this just off the green. If, I'm, if I do miss it off the green, I'll still have a pretty solid putt being short. It's a tough chip, just need to... Hopefully get a solid bounce here and put me in a, in a good par putting position. Yeah. Why did I hit, hit that so hard, Mikey? Dang. All right. I drain a long par now. I hit it way too hard, caught it way too clean. Ah. Down the hill a little left to right at the end as a Sharps rolled out. I'm gonna try to put a good stroke on it. Good pace, hopefully match the pace in the line and it goes in. Nice. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <sighs> Got a decent look off of AJ's. Just a little more than that. Got both lips covered. All right, two good bars. I'm gonna clean this up for bogey. That's yeah, good bogey. Sean. That's a big, big uh, avoid uh, mistake avoided there. Not making double. So unfortunate off the tee there. Got to be a little better. Just a bad swing, kind of swinging out to the right. Number seven, 205 yard par three. Downwind off the left. I have, eight, I have seven iron, but I'm gonna go to eight iron. The wind is kind of picking up. Pulled the living dog balls off of it. It's gonna be bunker, I think. And go. Yeah, yeah. Shot. Thanks. I didn't want to kill that. Dude, I jumped in this camera and go so hard right there. Yeah, that'll be that'll be all right. Ugh, get up and down for par. Let's not make it double again on a freaking par three. I'm actually kind of starting to figure something out. Butting is pretty important. You know? Yeah. Everyone goes through it. I go through it sometimes. I'm kind of going through it right now with like shorter butts. Just like just gotta just go through and just be confident. I, I I actually have. I would love to ask if anybody is got some free time on their hands and at the end of this round if they want to go through my putting stats the last two rounds and just let me know uh how many putts i had and everything that would just be awesome if, if anybody has some extra time on their hands i don't mind a bunker shot it's gonna come out soft let's just get this up and down and avoid big numbers what a shot 
That's very well done, mate. See if we can't get out of the par. I'm gonna try something new, Colin. We're just kind of fiddling around with it. We're gonna leave the pin in and we're gonna putt this ball. All right, well, I can stay out of the bunker. Hey, you wanna put that in, please? It's breaking right. Try to get this one, give me range. Maybe, maybe old doctor is on call. Maybe. Shout out that please. guy. Take it, not a double. Got like five, six feet left for my par. Make this move on. The Ooh, short putts that... are nice today for you though. Thanks, yeah. That one did not break right like I thought it was. It's pretty straight. First round of this series, I short putts was not feeling great. I think I figured out that I didn't have enough forward press to set up, making my setup feel a little weird. So, fix that today, it's feeling a little better. Par three. Well, I don't, it depends on what the green, like if the green's tough here, I don't really know, but I'm gonna try and be short if anything, because <laughs> the last one was tough. Six iron in hand, 200 to the front, so that's where I'm trying to land it. She's a beauty. Smell it. Take that, anytime I'm hitting a par three, I'm happy. I don't care if it's from up close or from far away. Being on the green in one is clutch. Two bat swings in a row. That's tough. Just gotta stay mentally dialed. All right, well, good news is I had the right club. <laughs> Bad news is I kind of have an interesting shot. Just trying to get up and down for par here. Halfway there. Halfway there. Yeah, after watching his, goes a little bit left to right at the end. Hopefully I've got the first half right and then the second half will do what it needs to. I hammered it, that's gone. Oh, I had it, I had it, I had it. Dang it, that's a tough bogey again. I'm gonna dial in, I think it's part five next. Little knee, knee shaker to clean this one up. We're not done yet. That's bad. That is so bad. Number eight, 553 yard par five. It's like it's pretty straight away, a little dog like right. Back into the wind, we should be able to get there still. So I'm gonna hit driver hard as I can, right in the middle. Great ball. Thank you. Ah, AI smoke is hitting different this week. I agree, Brad, it is hitting different. This should be fun. Yeah, cart path golf. A little four under. Yeah, I'm just trying to take advantage of some opportunities, you know? Not me. I just, I mean, I know it was a long time ago. I don't want to think about the past, but I just take advantage of two and three like I should have. Could be having a pretty crazy round going, but. You could. Still a lot of time. Ten holes left to make a lot more birdies. 59 still in play. Yeah, technically it is. All right, like three. I mean, I can't get there, so I'm just gonna try to hit the hit the fairway a little fade. That'll work. I don't know. I went straight at it. Well, 260 here. Into the wind, gonna be a nice full three wood par five second shot. I actually like my position here. I'm excited for Fort Worth golf. <sighs> Shout out to everybody, man. I'm enjoying this content more than I've enjoyed some good content in a long time. Stroke play, playing these municipals, fun courses, traveling back to Dallas. It literally, and let me know in the comments down below because these vibes feel like OG style vibes for me. So I hope you guys agree, I really do. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through it there. We're gonna try.
Gosh, I the fire! Damn, it rolled under his leg. I don't think it was that close. I think it just skipped forward. Dude, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to get it there and I got it there easily. Sitting pretty over here on the right side of the fairway, 217 yards into the breeze. Um, I got four iron. I'm gonna try to hit a little sting piece, a little knockdown. Well, an eagle here would go a long way. Give me 500, get that round going. Oh my goodness. Go in. Do something crazy. Oh, I know no Steve, Steve shook his head, so I think it's good. Okay. No reaction, kind of, but I mean, that's maybe the best shot I've hit all trip. That thing was sick. 60 yards of the pan into the wind. Should be able to stop pretty flat. I don't, I don't remember how much green I have to work with, but she's going to go at it. Oh my. You've had like seven of those putts. No, I haven't made one of them. I haven't had a little chip in slash hole out in a while. Kind of sounds nice. Can't putt, so might as well make it. All right, well y'all probably saw the green came already, but I just found out my ball went a little long. It carried like, I saw the pitch mark went right over the flag, so. Um, hit a good shot in here, but I got like 30 feet from just off the green, downhill. Focus on speed. If it goes in, it goes in. Big bird. Whoa. Simmer. Wow, that is fast as hell. Kind of meant, I meant to land my short of the green. Unfortunately, I didn't. All right, I got this for birdie. Hopefully I make it. I got like four feet left for my birdie. Pretty dead straight putt. Good birdie, Brad. Thank you. That's the four. That's four under, yep. Yep. That's such a missed opportunity, boys. That's all right. Ah, bogey, that's just how it sits. Here we are, hole number eight, par five. I don't know if it's reachable in two, it might be. Here we go. Yup. That right there, Max, is what I want every single time I swing the driver. I got 265. We're gonna we're gonna see how this goes off the deck. Nice, I hit a putter. Should be fine there, hopefully. I don't know. AJ. That looks so good, but Bubby didn't react. <laughs> we'll see when we get up there, but that was a pretty decent shot. If I hear by the bathroom, really solid angle into this pin. Got 240, I'm gonna hit a little two iron, try and keep it a little low, give myself a great, great third shot into this one. Let's, let's get one back on this hole. Next. If that went. I think we got an eagle putt, brother. Oh my goodness, he hits it perfectly. So glad I didn't hit my hybrid because I really wanted to hit it. I think we got an eagle put on this beautiful hole number eight. Let's get two back, come on. Came up a little bit short. Max and I were back there like, man, if that's on the green, that would be sick, but it's not. Hopefully this one is. Yeah. Terrible. But you know what, we're putting for birdie. All right, Max is over here telling me I need to jar it. That is not what I need to do. I will say, this is actually a great spot if this bunker wasn't here. This bunker adds some complications. I gotta get it past this ridge at least. <laughs> Oh! That'll work. I don't know why I pushed it. I don't know why I pushed it, but it works. Oh, that had me. That had me thinking for a second. Oh my goodness. Gave it a good run. 
Good call, Sally. Nice putt, Luke. Luke. Good birdie. Thank you. Come on! That terrible bogey on that one gets me back into it. Come on. All right, y'all, walking off eight green, heading into hole nine. We still have Steve in the lead at 24 under par. Sharf with a nice birdie there. Kind of starting to separate himself from AJ. Gets himself to 13 under par. AJ remains at 11 under par. Quan battling, battling back after that rough start to get to seven under par. And Brad having the round of the day right now, four under par. He is in at a total of five under par on the hole nine, the last hole of this video. Let's get to it. 430 yard par four straight away. Wind's mainly off the right, a little down. Wide open, I'm just gonna swing hard again. It's been working so far, so try to get it way down there. Nice. All right, didn't hit quite as hard as I did the last couple, but should be down there pretty good. That's the top. There's like 20 people who just pulled up to the green. I feel like good, good. Like, I think feel like us being at this random course in West Texas has to be so confusing for everyone. Well, that's what, before we started the road trip, we all met at the gas station. Yeah. And there's a dude there with a good, good hat on. And <laughs> middle of nowhere in Tucson. Yeah. A random gas station. I just can't even imagine like what he was thinking. Yeah, Wearing a good, good hat is like, why the hell are they here? Well, if we hit some ground under repair, that thing would have probably rolled 200 yards, I'm gonna be honest, but. We got two sixes of pain. That just hurts. You know, I don't feel good. That could be long. Look at this, they pulled up on us. Kind of cool, cause like I'm sure one person saw, spread the word to some friends, and it's such a small town. Like it just kind of gets out there. Is that gonna get to the green? Yikes. All right, 40 yards of the pen. I gotta hit a little nipper, wearing some moist. I've taken some looks at it and it's not the best. Find it? Uh-oh. All right, let's get out of here with the bogey. That's just bad. All right, 66 yards. Um, just on this little hill right here. Pretty easy shot. Let's try to get some close. We got a crowd up there, so let's see if I can get them cheering for something. Brad? Oh, dude, that dropped that would made so that, cool. That made that in front of all the people. Damn. All right, good shot though. Oh. Oh. In the heart, Colin. This is a land a landmine. Hopefully it just kicks the right way I want it to. Give me the line, Brad. All right, got like five, six feet for my birdie. Breaking just slightly right. Nothing too crazy. Nice bird. Is that? It's 500. Does that go anything what? That's, I didn't, I could be seven under literally easily, but that's all right. Just dead straight, maybe broke barely right. Yep. But bogey, I got a five over. I bet it's good That's cool. That's really cool to be honest. That is really cool to meet you guys. Did, did you did you hear how they found out your story at the uh, yeah area? Or no, no. You guys said they there's a story of and it had the Ratliff Ranch on the front of the car. Huh. Yeah. That's crazy. They <laughs> I've never seen that before, like at any other course. Other than in Chicago it happens. Like most of the time people don't really care that much. I guess since it's a small town, they're all just like on top of it. Yeah. And they wanted to come out. So freaking sick though. Shout out to you guys. Oh, baby, that's going. See ya. 
in a good way. It's big. That's a big drive. I'll show you guys a little drive. Oh, it's a little. Well, too good with the tiny drive. All right, Mikey, we're gonna go after this one a little bit. Have some fun with it. Wind's working a little right to left, so why not? Looks like it'll be just short left of the green. Try to finish with a birdie on this nine, guys. Get one up there. Everything slopes from back to front, so. Come on. Uh, not my best effort. But we got a birdie putt. Michael's telling me he likes a 60, which is correct. We have 66 yards as well, so I'm trying to land at 60. Dude, you're kind of right about everything. I'm kind of insane right now. All right, I'm hiring you back on the board again. After you hit this good shot. <laughs> now watch me hit this drop. Good shot, Luke. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, you're hired again. Let's go. All right, yeah. green side, just short left. Got to put this one close. I mean, from this from this close, I should make birdie. That's gonna be short. Never mind. Gotta keep my head up here. Happy thoughts. Just gonna try to get this one close and have a tap in. All right, we'll take part. All right, that's a good par. We are Samin Quanner signing off the front nine of this um, of this video. We have obviously the back nine coming very soon. Um, you and Brad are pretty close right now, actually, from what I've heard. Brad played a phenomenal front nine, so I think the, uh, the leaderboard's gonna be switching here. We got a beautiful back nine. I think some more low scores coming in pretty hot, so hope you guys enjoyed. Let him cook. How many hash browns do we want? I got that. Decaf in my booty crack. I got that two cream and a sugar in that. I got that decaf in my booty crack. I got that two cream and a sugar in that. I got that.